everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm actually outside and it's about maybe five, six o'clock. I wanted to get this out today because Arlene um, requested to see how I um, divide my pinguicula. I've done several, I've never had them on video and she wanted to see how I do it. And Arlene, if you've I know you've done um, repotting of African violet, so this should be similar to that because you know how African violet have several babies within like maybe a pot and you gotta separate the I don't know, pups. It's similar but with pain you'll see that uh, the difference between a new one and an old one and how the growth goes and that's what you kind of separate. I have two candidate here that I really don't have to do anything with them yet, but I figure I'd, I'd do them for this video. So what I use is, as you can see, um, mix-wise perlite, sand, and peat moss, which is, you can see a little bit of corn water water right there, and that is uh, distilled water. So here's the mix. I have pre-moist um, in it, uh, just enough to hold it together. As far as measurement goes, I really don't have any I've looked at the ones online and I think once I followed maybe twice I followed one part perlite one part sand and maybe two parts peat moss but I just take two handfuls three handfuls of peat moss some perlite some sand and I also and I know it doesn't say that I do include warm casting this is just my thinking you'll see the babies and you know they don't and I'm going to put them in like a little greenhouse type so they're not getting any nutrients or anything like that from the bugs. So I figure I give them a little warm casting just kind of, and it's not, um, it's an organic fertilizer, not a whole lot, just a little bit to, so that they have some nutrients, I guess. Well, I had to put on gloves because everything was going into my nail and then I realized I wasn't even filming. Anyway, so I took uh, took them off of here. As you can, you can see that, I mean, they just kind of lay on top of the soil. I think it, they just need to make contact with the soil. So anyway, I tried to uh, take them apart and I had a couple that just kind of, um, a couple of leaves that tore away and you can use those also to um, propagate from so that's kind of good you can tell and, and see I have that other one and I'll show show you on that one too but it's kind of like I said it's kind of like the African violet you can always see like I think they call them crown and African violet so you can always see like the little crown so that's one crown and here's the other crown so you can kind of tell see how that is and and here's a leaf that kind of fell a leaf that fell off so I'm gonna propagate that this one is not good because see you can see the little brown on there so that's just uh, you can toss that up and I think so here's one I'm doing this through the camera viewfinder so so there's one and see there's one right there again it's like your African violet you look for the see the baby just See this baby just fell off from the side and it fell off again. So that's two little ones. And then there's, there's look how tiny these are. And those will those will work. And it looks like there's another one. Oops, I'm off shot. There's another one right there. I'm just kind of letting them fall on their own. And these two they want to fall away from each other. So I'll just keep them together. So here's the pot. I put the napkin. I don't even know why I do that, but and I do pack it in a little bit. Again, it's just a matter of how you want it and what you feel is right for you and in, in your, because I mean, a lot of people don't pack it in and some have, and it just works well, we'll for put me. the big one first on its own, because I have a pot. So I just do, I'm <laughs> doing this to the viewfinder, folks, so I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly try this one. That's it. See that little... Sorry about that. The camera fell and the whole thing fell and a little joy of... I'm just gonna take that out. Okay. 
so I put it in there and I usually take something can you guys see this and I just put the soil in there just kind of tap it nicely and then like I said you're gonna lose some leaves it's kind of my sorry just tapping it in not too hard and it's a little messy <laughs> but it'll okay that's that'll be fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know put them aside here somewhere first I have this little cup and I just like my hole there make a little little funky hole there these are for the babies and for the most part I'm just going to throw them in here that's for when it's in there so that's all I do and then So I'm just going to make like a little hole. This one. You know when you got when you guys do it I'm sure it'll be perfect. Wait this anyway. I got a big one that I want to put in there, so and you know like I said the roots just need to make contact. I know the little ones didn't have much, but they're like maybe one or two and again they they'll survive. This method works for me. Um, I've tried other ones and I've lost a couple. But again they're just babies. I'm sorry, I was tapping. But they were babies so it wasn't uh, one of those uh, sandwich or uh, salad uh, container and this is usually what a dressing is so kind of helps that they both have them in there but so this is just again distilled water and these have been look at that that wasn't there nope I don't remember seeing that. I don't recall. I planted this one in and this one in. I don't know where that came from. They just throw them all over the place. This had been in here for maybe three weeks and that was the size of... Ah! I lost the main plant, but that's okay. I'll throw them back in. Disaster there. I dropped this. Big surprise! Again, the main thing that you want to be aware of is that to make sure that there's contact with the soil i don't think you could but like i said just make a little teeny hole plop it in there and it should be good to go so that's good to go so that will go in there and i'll go ahead and place i'll place these in here and there um, as long as these you know the when you separate them as long as this the bottom makes contact with the soil like so and you put them somewhere you know like it's inside these container so they get a lot of humidity leave them under uh, a grow light if you have that or just a light bulb or a sunny uh, windowsill but not direct sunlight that will definitely kill them so a lot of light a lot of humidity and this will provide it and you don't even have to check them um, for a very long time. So again, just needs to make contact. Okay, I hope that's helpful and I'll see you guys in your next video. Bye.